Find the equation of the line passing through these two points. The first thing to do is find the slope. So we've got m is equal to, to find the slope we need to subtract the two y values. That's going to be an 8 minus 7. And then subtract the two x values, 2 minus a negative 3. And on top we've got a 1 and for the denominator, a 5. So the slope is 1 fifth. That means the line is going up, but not very quickly. Now what I'm going to do is use the y-intercept form of a line. y equals mx plus b. So the m is placed in front of the x, the slope in front of the x. And now we need to find b. To do that, just pick a pair of points. 2 comma 8 will work. Substitute that x is a 2 and y is an 8. Use x is a 2 and y is an 8 to find out what the b is. So in this equation, the left-hand side will be an 8, 1 fifth times the x value of a 2, and then we need to solve for b. So with this being a 2 fifths, we'll need to subtract 2 fifths from both sides, and it's 8 minus 2 fifths. Now we need a common denominator, which will be fifths. So this we could write as 8 over 1, multiply by 5 for the numerator and the denominator and here we have 40 fifths. So 40 minus 2 is 38 fifths and that's B. And now we have our final answer that Y is equal to the slope was 1 fifth X and then the y-intercept b is 38 fifths. The next thing I'm going to do is use the graphing calculator and graph that. So we've got y equals 1 fifth x plus 38 fifths. And then zoom standard to take a look at the graph. And there's our line. As I said earlier, it is going up, but not very rapidly. And now I just want to test and make sure that it works with these points, the original points given. So go to trace and I can now type in a negative 3 for that first point and if I did this right it's going to tell me that the y value is 7. Perfect. That one is right. I want to check the other one, try x equals 2 and now it should tell me that the y value is 8. Great, we got it.